Hello everybody, FAI here, or I here, and welcome back to another um, Akurai Talks video, or what used to be Akurai Talks videos. And um, yeah, with that being said, um, we're going to be talking about the sensitivity on this game, and you're probably just seeing a quick look at the sensitivity. Um, that is just me having been looking at the sensitivity, and you know, the one thing I figured out about Apex Legends is... That, honestly, sensitivity does not make sense on this game. Like, I can't calculate the game's sensitivity. I can't really um, come up with an idea for the game's sensitivity. I don't even know what the um, sensitivity is like. In, in many ways, I just can't figure it out. And to me, this means that, you know, sensitivity in general just doesn't make sense on Apex Legends. And, um... You know, because it doesn't make sense on Apex Legends, you can't really, like, determine a, um, you know, you can't determine, like, what's the perfect sensitivity. And, you know, because you can't calculate or determine what the perfect sensitivity is, that does mean that you're in generally, general, just kind of, like, stuck doing whatever you could to try and adjust it until it feels right. And, you know, this means that sensitivity really doesn't make sense, and it in general means that overall you just can't really um, figure out what's going on with it. You can't understand, you know, how to make the sensitivity work for you. And, I mean, I think this is just in general a bad design from... Apex Legends and um, just bad design with, you know, determining how the game actually is supposed to do whatever it needs to do. And because it determines um, or it's trying to determine whatever it needs to do on a, um, you know, on a long run, it means that overall you're going to have, you know, times where... It just doesn't really make any um, <clears throat> any sense at all to, you know, overall, you know, making a um, <clears throat> making a move or making things work. I guess you could say because, again, like I just can't understand why or how the game actually makes sense when it comes to overall choices and overall just. Like, you know, what you're doing um, in general and what you could, um, you know, what you should be doing. Because, I mean, again, like, you know, overall, there's just no actual easy way of understanding the um, the game or understanding, like, how the, um, you know, how the overall, <clears throat> you know, sensitivity is meant to be. And, you know, like it is, because there's no real way of determining the overall sensitivity or what it's meant to do, what it's meant to be, um, you know, you can't determine how to make the game work for you or, you know, at least find your perfect sensitivity. It's very, very difficult to find your perfect sensitivity because, like, like, like I've said, there's just no easy way of determining, like... Oh, this is a good saying for you. This is your um, perfect saying, in a way. This is how you should be, um, you know, in general playing. But, you know, there isn't really, like I said, a way to really make yourself work or have it work to, you know, for you. And because it can't really work or have, you can't really make it work for you, obviously, you know, I think that, you know, it's very hard to determine what your perfect sensitivity is. Like, I'll explain it on on Fortnite, and I'll explain how in Fortnite, you can basically get your perfect sensitivity almost with no issues, and almost with no problem. And because you can get your perfect sensitivity with almost no issues and no problem, you are able to, you know, in turn, <sighs> make a determination of, Oh, this works for me. This doesn't work for me. And because this doesn't work for me, then I can do this. Or I can do that, you know. And I think that's the one thing that really helps it with um, just in general making your, um, you know, process overall work. Um, you know, because, like, when your process overall works, especially when you can 
pin down York Stack sensitivity, it really makes the game that much better, in my personal opinion. Now, that's my personal opinion, and that's just how I find to be, um, you know, how I find you to be, um, you know, better overall in the game is to, you know, determine your personal, um, you know, place and, you know, be able to determine your, um, you know, your overall, um, <clears throat> choices when it comes to being, you know, when it comes to being, um, you know, just in general sense, sense wise and just in general of, you know, knowing your place and your position because, I mean, you know, again, like, I find that overall, honestly, it's just very difficult to determine where the, um, sensitivity is and what's the, uh, you know, the overall place of, of your, um, <clears throat> your game, your, your, um, you know, your overall, you know, I guess you could say general position for the game. And, you know, with that having been said, I don't know how, you know, Apex Legends could mess up the game anymore. I mean, I've already determined and talked about my concerns and my thoughts with the game and all the other things that go around it. So, I don't need to go over that again. But, I mean, you know, without a good no, no, no idea or knowing of where the sensitivity is and where, um, you know, you should be overall with, um, you know, overall with, um, you know, just in general making the perfect sensitivity for yourself, you know, because you can't do stuff like the, um, stuff like the, um, you know, like the, um, what is it called? The, um, calculations. You can't just, like, determine how many frames calculation-wise, um, you know, calculation-wise that you can have versus, um, and know the exact amount of frames that you're using or e EDPI. You, because you can't calculate the EDPI, that's what I was going by, um, going with. Um, you can't determine, like, oh, I have, you know, 201 effective dots per, per inch. Um, and again, I'll talk about my effective dots per inch and EDPI and stuff on Apex, um, or on Fortnite. And, you know, this is why I don't think Fortnite is, and I'll go into, you know, my concerns and another video talking about what I think about Fortnite and why I think Fortnite will last longer than Apex Legends. But, you know, in general, I just feel that... You know, without perfect sensitivity or perfect knowledge of being able to go, okay, I'm at, I don't know, 10% sensitivity. Instead of like 5, 1, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, you know, some random number or um, 0 0.13, 0 0.1, 0 0.3. You know, because I'm not at some random number, you know, I can determine my perfect sensitivity because... Like, I can't understand if Apex Legends made it to where the sensitivity is like, oh, you are at one times, one times your uh, EDPI, or your DPI, your mouse's DPI. And that was the case that I'm at one times my mouse DPI, then I can make sense of, okay, this is, you know, Apex Legends right now is saying that I'm at one times my normal EDPI. Which would mean that, you know, in general, I'm at 800 DPI. And every point, like, two or three levels would be, would mean that I'm at, um, you know, I'm just that much, uh, you know, that much faster. But, you know, overall, it's like, you know, Apex Legends just doesn't make sense on its, uh, e on its DPI because they're saying, like, oh, you're at one, one according to our sensitivity. Well, what does that one mean? Does that one mean I'm at 10%, 20%, 30%, 2%, you know? And, you know, again, that's why I don't think Apex Legends really makes sense when it comes to the overall, you know, way that it just is, um, 
creative, you know. Um, I don't think that it really makes sense on the, um, you know, overall, <clears throat> the overall, um, choices that it's, um, you know, it's made. So, you know, again, um, I think that's just the way, you know, things work. Um, because, yeah, um, it's just the way it is. Like, you know, overall... You know, I think that, you know, it is um, something that just happens. It's something that's been part of the, um, you know, the game overall is that it just doesn't make sense in general. So, I mean, you know, again, that's my thought. Those are my my thought process. That's just what I've been f seeing. And, I mean, you know, I hope that maybe in the next update on Season 4, if... Apex Legends lasts that long, and let's face it, I don't know how much longer Apex Legends will really last, but let's just say Apex Legends lasts at least six seasons, up to six seasons, then I hope that they add a better way of learning what your sensitivity is, like rather it's at 10%, 20%, um, 30%, 40%, 100%, because right now, as it is, the sensitivity doesn't make sense. I mean, I get that it was made to be simple for console users, but why did you make it simple for console users and not make it like, oh, you're at 10%, 20% on PC? Because again, I can't tell you what my sensitivity is. Like right now, my sensitivity is so wacky and it's like, you know, it's really low in comparison. But again, I can't calculate other than maybe using the PSA method or the, the, um, the, um, you know, the perfect sense assessment method that, you know, this is, um, you know, this is my sensitivity. And, you know, that's the problem is that, you know, in general, honestly, sensitivity on Apex Legends just doesn't make sense. And sadly, there's no way of really determining, like, oh, this is your, um, you know, this is your sensitivity. This is what your sense is right now. And because you can't determine that, well, you know, how am I supposed to know where I'm meant to be and what I'm meant to be um, using, you know, sense-wise? But again, that's just my thought. Those are just my, my processes. That's just what I've been thinking. And honestly, like I've said, to me, sensitivity just doesn't make sense. But with that being said, I mean, thank you everybody for joining me today. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and hopefully this video has helped you or at least made you a little more aware of what's going on and my thoughts of why Apex Legends has another big problem on its game, which is, of course, the sensitivity. And, I mean, you know, with that being said, I mean, obviously, you know, like I said, once again, thank you everybody for joining me today. Thank you for being here. Thank you for... Stop me, my and um, thank you for hanging out. I will go over my thoughts of why Apex Legends is kind of failing at some point in time um, in a future video. But with that being said, I'm live on Twitch at www.twitch.tv slash F-A underscore um, I, E-Y-E. Um, I'm live on Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday for sure for about four to five hours. Or usually try to be live around uh, four to five hours. And um, usually on Monday and Tuesday, I'm live on uh, t for two to three hours. Um, but with that being said, thank you everybody for joining me. I hope to see you on Twitch. Um, you know what to do. If you like this video, hit the like button, get subscribed, hit the bell notification because I know you want to know when my next video drops next. Thank you everybody for joining me. And until the next one, everybody, this is I or FAI um, <clears throat> signing out and saying <clears throat> farewell, everyone.